Elsa and Gerald tells the wonderful tale of two friends in which Gerald, the giraffe, helps Tessa the turtle gain a new perspective when she really needs it most. I am so excited because joining us now is children's book author. We have Miss Priscilla Binkowski. Thanks so much for waking up with us and for bringing a copy for Baby Girl. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to be here. I'm excited about the story yeah. and I love the whole like what the meaning of it is. So mm -hmm. tell everybody at home what inspired you to write this. Well, my, um, my, my favorite saying in life is change what you see and what you see will change. Mm -hmm. And I'm a mom and a grandmother and uh, my ins they're my inspiration. So um, I, I think for kids these days, there's just so much stress around them. And I want to bring home the point that um, what you see is really what you manifest into your life. And so the book is about that. Everything good is around us. It's just what we choose to see. Okay. So Gerald does a very good job of helping Tessa have a different perspective without changing the environment they were in. I think we all can learn from this book. Parents, when you're reading it to your children, I yeah. think that you can learn from it. So how long did this take you? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to write a book, but yeah. it's not that simple. Well, I was one of those. Oh, were you? <laughs> I started a book for my daughter when she, she's 34 now. Yeah. And I still haven't published that. I think I'm going to pull it out. But you know, this year was a year for me when I said everything I've ever wanted to do, I'm going to stop waiting and I'm going to start doing. And so I did this I, I wrote my book I've got two more coming out next year on bullying and how to get kids um, to not be fearful of active shooter exercises my granddaughter tells me how scary it is when they're in school yeah so it's about preparation and that's what I want to do with kids that's amazing. Um, so the other thing I'm doing by the way I have to share with you I am Miss Senior Texas what yes ma'am where is your crown um, you I should have brought it <laughs> oh my goodness yes Congrat I had you. no idea congratulations thank you and I'm competing for Miss Senior uh, Senior World in November in Biloxi Oh my, I think so. you're too young to be in this. I think you're 59 in two weeks. No way. Yes, you look amazing. And you know what I love is you said this is the year you're just going to do everything you wanted. Yep. Why did you decide that? Um, because uh, I, I feel we have to be examples to women mm -hmm. and we keep putting things off and yeah. you know every day is a new opportunity to do new things and th what was I waiting for? Right, so I jumped right in and got started and everything else, you know, when you put out what you need to do, everything comes to you. Like the gift of sitting here truly with oh. you. Well, it's a gift to know you and Thank you're you. such an inspiration. I love that. So I'm excited to see your next chapter to speak. In the meantime, tell us where we can get a copy of the book. Yes, ma'am. Um, it's on Amazon and it's also on barnesandnoble.com. Um, by the way, I also had it translated in another language. I grew up in Africa, in Ethiopia. So I have it in Amharic also, oh and it's also on Amazon. Well, we definitely want to support you. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Thank you so much. And I stay tuned. It. We have plenty of Houston Happens headed your way.